डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम एलिमेंट्री कैनाल कंसिस्ट माउथ बकल कैविटी योसोफेगस स्टमक इंटेस्टाइन एंड रेक्टम माउथ इज अ लार्ज स्लीट लाइक एपर्चर लाइंग मिड वेंट्रोली बिलो द इंटीरियर एंड ऑफ हेड इट इज बाउंडेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ फ्लैशी लेब्रम literally by the plate like incisor processes of mandibles and behind by the bilobed labium mouth leads into buccal cavity it is anterior posteriorly compressed and has a thick cuticular lining which is irregularly folded the molar processes of mandibles lie opposite each other in the buccal cavity to crush the food between them esophagus the short tubular esophagus runs vertically upward from the buccal cavity to the floor of cardiac stomach internally the thick muscular wall of esophagus is thrown into four prominent longitudinal folds one anterior one posterior and two lateral stomach stomach occupies most of the cephalothoracic cavity it remains buried laterally ventrally and posteriorly in the hepatopancreas stomach of frown is thin walled and double chambered consisting of two parts a large anterior bag like cardiac stomach and a much smaller posterior pyloric stomach cardiac stomach the inner cuticular lining or intima of cardiac stomach present numerous inconspicuous longitudinal fold covered by minute bristles pyloric stomach is a small and narrow chamber lying below the posterior end of cardiac stomach its lateral walls are thick muscular and prominently folded inwards so that its cavity is imperfectly divided into a big ventral chamber and a small dorsal chamber midgut intestine is also known as midgut it is long narrow and straight tube running backward along the median line between the extensor and flexor muscle up to the sixth abdominal segment its lumen is wide at the anterior end but reduced posteriorly due to the presence of longitudinal fold head gut it is the shortest portion of the elementary canal leading from midgut to anus its anterior swollen muscular part called the intestinal bulb or rectum bears many internal longitudinal folds the terminal narrow tubular part open to the exterior through anus which is a sphincterd midventral longitudinal slit like opening situated on the raised papilla at the base of telson hepatopancreas is a large bilobed dense and orange glandular mass which lies below gonads and nearly fills up the cephalothoracic cavity it surrounds stomach on its lateral ventral and posterior sides hepatopancreas combines in itself the functions of pancreas small intestine and liver of higher animals hepatopancreas functioning as pancreas it secrete digestive enzymes which can digest carbohydrate protein and fats as mid gut it absorbs the digested food material and as a liver it serves as an important storage organ for glycogen fat and calcium some intracellular digestion also seems to be taken place 